we have six new antenatal and newborn screening programmes um, and they're kind of separated into three antenatal programmes and um, three newborn programmes. sickle cell and thalassemia affect people from certain ethnic backgrounds. If the mother is a carrier of a sickle cell or thalassemia, um, then there's a the potential uh, for the baby to also be a carrier, which isn't a problem in itself. Um, but if the dad is also a carrier, there's a the potential for the baby to actually have the condition. So what we do is we like to test mum first of all. Um, if the, we, we fill out a form at Booking called an, a family origin questionnaire. Um, so the midwife asks what their ethnic um, background is. Um, we fill in that form. If depending on what boxes are ticked on that form will depend on whether we do the test or the full test or, or not. If mum comes back and it shows that mum is a carrier of a sickle cell or a thalassemia, then um, that's when I would get in touch with the, the mum um, and talk to her about testing dad. Um, so we like to test baby's dad and then if he's also a carrier, there is the potential that the baby could have the condition, in which case we would talk to them about further testing that we can do for the baby um, to see if the baby has the condition and then we can um, offer further um, tests from there. These are three chromosomal abnormalities. They're the three most common chromosomal abnormalities that a baby might have. And what we can do is we can test for those um, around about between sort of 11 weeks and one day of pregnancy and 14 weeks and one day. And um, we can, um, we generally try to do it around about 12 weeks. Um, and that test is what's called a combined screening test. So we look at the, we're doing a scan um, and we look at the fold of skin at the back of baby's neck, which is called a nuchal translucency. Um, that fold of skin, um, if babies that have Down syndrome, Edwards or Patau syndrome, very often that fold of skin will be increased. Um, it's also increased sometimes if babies have a heart condition, so sometimes we can pick up heart conditions if we have a, an increased nuchal as well. Then what we do, um, because it's a combined screen, we take some blood. Um, from mum. So um, the blood test is looking for a hormone in mum's blood and a protein that comes from the placenta which is in mum's blood. We put that all together with things like um, mum's age, weight, whether she smokes, whether she's diabetic, um, family origins, all of these things go together um, and we work out a risk factor um, for the baby having Down syndrome, um, Edwards or Patau syndrome. So this doesn't say that baby's got any of those conditions, it just says um, what the risk factor is. Um, and then if someone came back as a high risk for having one of those conditions, then um, I would contact the, the lady and discuss the high risk with her and again discuss some further testing options um, to find out whether the baby has those conditions if that's what mum wants to do, um, what mum and dad um, want to do. The other test that we do is looking for three infectious diseases in pregnancy and those are HIV, Hepatitis B and Syphilis. And the reason we offer this screening is, first of all, if mum has any of those conditions, um, the quicker we get mum on some treatment, the better for her um, and for her well-being. Um, and obviously these conditions can be passed on to baby and we can um, reduce that um, so that the, those conditions aren't um, passed on to baby. So for example, for um, HIV, um, if a, if we're a mum's HIV positive and we know about it during pregnancy and mum has the correct treatment during pregnancy, we can reduce the, the chances of baby contracting HIV to 0.27%. So that's a really, really small chance that the baby would um, get HIV. There's the newborn hearing screening. The girls will come round when you're in the hospital um, and ask if you want to have the, the hearing screening done. Um, and they just put the, the little probes uh, near baby's ear um, and they do the, the hearing screen from there. So it's quite harmless. Um, your babies sort of, you know, don't notice. They're usually sleeping um, when they have it done and, and wouldn't kind of notice that they were having that test done. Um, that would pick up um, sort of permanent hearing loss um, for, for babies. And 
obviously the sooner that we have that test done, um, the better, um, you know, the, because then we can get sort of, if babies needed to have hearing aids and things like that, then we can get them um, sooner rather than later, which is better for baby's speech and language and development and things. Newborn infant physical examination is like a top to toe examination of baby. We check things like their eyes, um, hips, heart. Um, if it's a little boy, we check his testes to make sure that they're in the right place. Um, and, um, you know, we just have a, a general kind of check to see that everything is okay with baby. Um, obviously things like if we if we feel that there is a problem, sometimes babies have what's called a clicky hip, so the hips are just a little bit of a, a click, um, then we would refer them on to have a scan and, and maybe to see the orthopaedic team. Um, again, we check baby's hearts to, to see if there's any murmurs or anything like that there. Um, but it's just basically like a little MOT um, for baby. The newborn blood spot is just a little sample of blood that's taken from the baby's heel on day five. Um, that is testing for some metabolic um, conditions. There's nine conditions altogether. Um, so there's five metabolic conditions which are um, conditions that if they went undetected um, they can um, sort of build up this you know baby can't break down certain um, substances um, in their body if they've got these conditions which are very rare um, and it means that these, these substances would build up in baby's body and sometimes can cause quite severe problems but again if we find out about it now when baby's small and um, before the, these um, these products have had time to build up then um, you know we can prevent any um, harm to, to baby um, and then we test for things like sickle cell anemia and we test for congenital hypothyroid so these are just conditions that again they're, they're things that you know we could probably pick up um, later on in baby's life but that would be once baby's starting to show um, symptoms of the, the condition whereas if we can find out at birth that baby's got these conditions we can take um, actions and we can kind of try and prevent um, you know anything uh, you know, the, any problems from the conditions.